instructional video for the new Morganfield Lions Club e-clubhouse. The homepage of the website is visible to the public, and a number of the pages contain information about the club that we want available for everyone. For example, the calendar includes the day and time of regular club meetings, as well as events and activities that are open to the public. Anyone can access the main homepage with the following link. The URL must be entered exactly as typed above, or you may access an incorrect alternative website. Once you enter the URL correctly, the Morganfield Lions Club eClubhouse main homepage is displayed. All of the menu items displayed in the upper left corner of the homepage contain the following pages that are visible to the public. The calendar, club projects, a photo gallery, a contact us page, programs, golden colonel award winners, and officers. To access the members only section, enter your username, which is the email address you provided when you completed your Lions Club application. Note that only one email address can be used to sign in. The password is common for all Lions Club members, and that is capital M F I E L D L I O N. Once you are properly logged in, the member home page is displayed with additional pages available in the lower left corner of the page. The purpose of this video is to explain how you, as a member, can access the members only sections of the website. I will also demonstrate a number of functions that will be helpful to you as a Lions member, such as sending group emails, inviting members to meetings with selected members of the club, and other capabilities. I will now walk through the various menu selections and how they can be used. The member directory, the message board, e-invite, poll, members and group recognition, newsletter, and group emails. Quickly, the menu selections that are at the top of the page, which are available to everyone. Uh, the first one uh, is the calendar, which now provides information about meetings and other activities to everyone that can be accessed uh, through the website. Uh, projects page provides a little more information about uh, various projects that are uh, underway at the Lions Club. Uh, there's a photo gallery, which we're going to try to show uh, pertinent and current pictures of various members of the club and other activities that might be going on. Uh, there is another page that is available that for uh, anyone to contact the Lions Club to send an email. And there's a programs page that uh, shows the dates and of various meetings and the club member that's responsible for the program and what the program is, and that's all available. Uh, the next page uh, displays the Golden Colonel Award winners, uh, along with the past presidents and themes and various information that's available uh, from each year that the club has been active and that the Corn Festival has been uh, sponsored by the Lions Club. Uh, the next page shows all the officers, current officers, and this information will be expanded as we continue to uh, provide more information about uh, the club and the officers. In this next section, we will take a little bit longer to go through each one of the menu items that describe the features that are available to the members in the members only section. The first page is the home page and we'll have some general information about the club and about uh, the members and things that are available. Uh, the next page displays the members directory. Uh, it has and will be kept current with all the members of the club with uh, email and other contact information about each member. Uh, you can select a member and display, in this case, there, there were two people with Dr. William in the first uh, name, and so both names were displayed. 
Uh, it also, uh, if there's only one person, then uh, as we select Jennifer uh, Duncan, you will see that only one uh, item is displayed uh, for Jennifer. Uh, you can also produce a spreadsheet that has all of the members with contact information, and that is downloaded when you complete that. Uh, the next page is uh, a page that uh, can be used by the president and officers to display member and group recognition types of things. Uh, currently, there's nothing there at the time the video is being prepared, uh, so that will be available. Uh, the next page is also a newsletter uh, placeholder because it will uh, is going to be completed. Uh, Jennifer is going to put some information together for a newsletter and uh, it would be available on this page. Uh, the next page is a message board and the message board can be uh, completed uh, with more current specific kind of information that updated for members so that they can go to that board. It also provides a way for members to respond to the uh, message and information can be communicated back and forth and it's a very helpful uh, piece of uh, uh, feature of the new website. Uh, the next page uh, well, we're still going through uh, newsletter information, uh, so I'll wait until all that uh, completes and you'll see the message board. But uh, for now, I'll show you some of the, the ways that you update the newsletter. And this the message board, as you see, uh, I put a short message out there and uh, you'll see that you can respond to that message. We'll type in a response and that will be displayed on the screen. So it's still working and there it is. That's the message and the response uh, to that message. Uh, these will be deleted or they will not be displayed once it goes beyond the date that they're posted. Uh, the next page are uh, polls uh, where you want to get inf uh, provide a poll. There are a couple of different types of polls that can be uh, generated and they are available for members that uh, they can put some questions and get people to respond and it provides feedback from various members that may or may not attend the meetings but may want to provide some feedback or we can ask for specific feedback from them. So it is another very helpful feature uh, that allows you to put uh, multiple choice items or respond in uh, you know one through five uh, hierarchy to uh, for polling and it, and again it's uh, pretty interesting and useful and we'll see how we can make use of it uh, as we go forward. I'm going to let this play out. I've done a little bit of showing you how it works and so I'll let it play out before we go on to the next item. There is the result, and uh, it will keep track of the results of the polls and give you feedback on how people responded. The next feature are uh, evites. These are ways that members can uh, set up meetings with various other members. They can uh, put together a date and time of the meeting, what it's about, the topic of the meeting, and then select the people you want to be invited to that meeting, and then they can respond and, and attend the meeting. Uh, so it, it's a feature. We'll see how that works. Uh, it, 
may not have value, but it does uh, provide you with all the names of all the members and you can selectively invite them to the meeting. And then the last major feature uh, are group emails. This one is uh, very uh, helpful. Uh, it's a way that we will send out uh, notices about meetings to all the members or you can select only specific members but it's available to send to everybody, every member of the club. And we'll do that weekly in notification of the meetings, but you can also, uh, anybody can actually uh, send out uh, emails if you're on the list. And finally, back to the homepage and to remind you that there are also links to the Corn Festival website and YouTube and Facebook. So it is a very, uh, useful tool to keep track of everything that's going on.